What's going on? I am Cole, and today on our disc golf journey, I've got this box here um, from Infinite Discs. So uh, I've been looking on and off for a new way to kind of store some of my discs in my car. They actually have these Friday deals. Um, and they have this tote. Uh, the tote's meant for the back of your car. You can kind of store discs in it. You can put extra towels in it, whatever. Uh, it was pretty good. And it was $15 off, so I decided to get it. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to do while I was there is they, all, they also have this option where you can add in a mystery disc and a mystery swag item. So I did those to see, hey, are these worth it? I think the mystery disc is 12 bucks. The mystery swag is $9, so let's see what's inside. I also got a Clash disc because uh, my local shop doesn't sell Clash discs, and I wanted to try one out especially with my new uh what is the best mid-range i thought that trying out a clash disc from that would be pretty fun so let's open this package up let's see what's inside uh and let's see if those free or those mystery items are worth uh the price all right so um they definitely, this is my first time ever ordering from Infinite Disc. Uh, they package everything pretty decently. Um, as you can see, the box behind me, that's got that main divider in it. But let's see what we got here first. First off, we have a mystery swag item. Oh, so it looks like we got a Infinite Discs beanie. Um, I don't have a disc golf hat. A pretty big head so this fits actually pretty all right so we'll go there um this looks like the disc that i got um, from the mystery so what do we have here we have a cross laps open water distance driver i have no idea what this is um i'll probably have the price of both of these to see kind of what they are this thing feels kind of weird and it's a 12 speed i don't really have the arm speed to throw these but who knows maybe it's kind of cool the plastic looks pretty cool i'm not sure if you can see like right here oh yeah you can see it there's a little swirl there um but the rim is definitely interesting i don't know that i've ever really seen a distance driver with that kind of a rim before um and then this is the disc i end up grabbing for the series uh it is the berry the berry is of all the clash discs it seems like the most neutral of all of them so once again let's check this thing out this thing is huge But here it is. Um, it is the Infinite Disc. They call it the Disc Tote. So I'd love to know, do you think these items are worth it? You know, once again, I don't know that I was, I was kind of, I guess, hoping for a dry fit of anything. But I'll take this hat. It's something, especially playing in the winter, I'll use this. Um, and yeah, the distance driver, I probably wouldn't have gotten. And I kind of made a joke to my coworker that I'm probably going to get a distance driver. He mentioned he's ordered a few of these too. Um, and most of the times he just got infinite disc discs. So it's kind of interesting that we had this. I don't think that I'd ever get a cross laps disc. I don't know that I've ever even seen these The plastic feels nice. Um, but it's 12 speed driver on something that I wouldn't normally use. Um, it, it its numbers are 12, 4, negative 1.52, so I don't know. I think that's still kind of sort of stable. I'm not really sure um, when it gets to kind of more distance driver stuff. But let me know. Did you think those things were worth it? I'm mostly excited for these. Um, this tote, I'm probably going to do a video on this and just kind of review it and see if it's worth the price. Um, but, you know, it's a ton cheaper than getting those dynamic disc hard plastic boxes. But I'd love to know, too, if you have any storage options. Um that you recommend let me know down there because um i'm always looking for stuff is you know you you keep a lot of extras in your car but I'm excited to check this out and if you haven't checked out my mid-range series i'll kind of have i think the intro video up here um i'll be releasing those as a occasionally a little bit more here so once again i've been cole if you like this kind of content i'm always doing kind of unboxings on monday and i try and release a video where i'm either out playing on the course or talking about some disc golf topics on thursdays so if that's something you're interested hit that subscribe i've also been doing some shorts with holes um, and asking kind of random disc golf questions but as always